Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Dharma Geosphere. Uh, today I will be interacting with you on another very important uh, um, concept of uh, place and of course also space and uh, location for uh, human geography. Uh, the word place has occupied a very important uh, um, uh, connotation and uh, there have been a lot of definitions going around uh, uh, about the place, space and uh, location. In uh, simple terms, um, space is uh, more or less an abstract term without any substantive meaning. Uh, but a place is uh, what uh, people get attracted to and given importance and can form uh, within the uh, space. So basically, uh, um, place is uh, uh, space uh, with meaning. So, um, like how history uh, has uh, time, uh, the um, astronomy has heavens, uh, geography has place. Places stands to be one of the most important. Everything in geography starts with the place. But then, um, many of the geographers could not define place um, concisely or uh, comprehensively, and still. Uh, a lot of debate was going on on uh, defining uh, the word uh, place and then what exactly uh, is place and um, as this was going in the 1970s uh, two great thinkers of geography uh, Tuan and uh, Ralph uh, they were very dissatisfied with the way the word place has been defined uh, philosophically enemic term was being given to that word place so they probed into this word place and then they took their own time in understanding what exactly that means to various people and then after a lot of research and uh, various um, methodologies adopted by them uh, they kind of came out with a more um, clearer definition uh, of uh, the word uh, place and space and uh, location so two of the uh, main outcomes of uh, uh, um, this um, research and probe by these two great uh, um, thinkers in geography. One was uh, related to that this approach was being termed as um, phenomenology, which um, basically uh, deals with the essentials of experience gained by people either directly or indirectly. And another outcome of this was Ralph's uh, book on place and placelessness. Uh, this book um, was not only one of the most popular and it's on popular even today um, because uh, it brings out not only the concepts but also a, a lot of um, um, visionary on uh, how uh, you know, to look at uh, the term uh, place and then uh, it not only uh, became very popular within the uh, geography but also was uh, outside geography. So uh, the Tuan and uh, Ralph uh, have understood these terms very clearly and then they give you uh, different definitions in a very systematic and a very clear and understandable uh, way. But then um, apart from this like how we had uh, uh, Ralph and uh, Tuan to place we have uh, Giden and uh, Duren Massey uh, who have uh, had an impact on uh, the locational, uh, mm, the word location and then uh, how the research in location spread. Uh, uh, Giddin gave the term uh, structuration and Dorian um, Massey uh, in her uh, book The Division of Labor clearly brings in how this word location has been so important and how it, uh, the geography starts from that word location. Location, uh, in other words, uh, is a more precise term, uh, could be a precise term for a place. It could also uh, mean uh, maybe uh, a settlement, uh, a village, a town or a city. So uh, this is how um, uh, the location was also uh, been uh, redefined uh, and the new research in locational analysis and the regional analysis um, was brought out. So now uh, I hope now you have understood what uh, place and uh, space and location are. Of course, I will now give you an uh, example. Uh, just please pay attention so that uh, any confusion regarding place and uh, space is uh, gone once and for all. So basically imagine that uh, you are going from 
uh, your home to your office. So your home, your home would be very positive that you have very good family, you have all the facilities, electricity, water and all that, you have a car to go with, everything good to go. So you're very happy, you're attached to that particular home. Could also be that your home is not that happy where you know you don't have some facilities or it could be various reasons you want to shift to some other place which is closer to your uh, office or it could be anything but then whatever it may be you are attaching attaching a lot of meaning to it and uh, uh, you have a sense of belonging to that place so that is a place so from that place you are moving on and, and, and reaching your office office is another very important place for you because you get your remitted you get your salary you spend quality time there you um, your projects uh, work you, uh, you spend quality time and uh, the number of hours you spend uh, during the day is mostly in the office so you have a lot of uh, attachment towards that place could also be that you are not very happy with the office, you want a bigger um, um, role, maybe you wanted a promotion and you are waiting for it, you are not happy. But that's all secondary, but in spite of that you attach a, a meaning to it and you go there every day. So you have two places, uh, one is the home and the other is office, you attach meaning to it, it's very important for you, it plays a very important role in your life, in your daily life, so these two are places. Intervening uh, region that is from home to your office is space because you have no uh, meaning attached to it. You may be passing through a um, highway, it could be a flyover, it could be a huge mall, it could be a gas station, it could be a provision store, all that you have no meaning to you because you are straight moving from home to the office. So everything that is in between these two objects or places is space. Okay? So this place is a piece of that space. The home is also a piece of that place, space. So within this space, there could be also um, like uh, you may be filling your gas or from the particular petrol pump every time uh, you want to fill it. Maybe twice in a week, once in a week. And you always go only and take your petrol only from one particular place. Though there are so many gas stations on the way. So in that case, that gas station also becomes a place because you are attached. For you, it is not just gas. It is that particular gas station. That's it. So you are atta attaching a meaning to it. You are attaching the importance to it. You are attached to it. There is a sense of belonging for you to take petrol only, the gas from only that particular. Similarly, there could be a provision store, a grocery store. It could, could be a mall from where you pick up your... Uh, sundries um, once in a week you want to pick up only from there and that particular place then that becomes important you are attached to it so that also becomes a place so in between two places though uh, there is an entire space and in between the space there are again two small places so you have four places within this space so got this point very clear so be very very clear so um, since it's not only in India that people uh, get confused or mix up things between space and place they keep after all the class is over they again say sir in space I am in place and all that stuff but be very very clear so it's not that it happened only in India even in, uh, in other uh, foreign countries uh, students were uh, a little um, confused uh, between uh, defining these terms. So uh, in one particular university, a cognitive mapping was uh, uh, given to uh, many all the students from a particular class and they were asked to go around and uh, map the, the university area. So it was again um, uh, just a waste of time. None of the students could actually do anything about it. They mixed up its place, space and all that and they none could come out with any meaningful uh, place or uh, space except for one girl. One girl very beautifully uh, uh, drew the map. She drew the map of a pond and, and then a small garden and right inside that uh, garden near the map she put two benches and she identified one bench to be hers and she wrote there uh, my workplace and then uh, it was very beautifully done up and she said this is my place. So um, clearly you can say that uh, this is a girl who identified that she 
that girl actually would go there sit in that bench do her homework or her assignments and all that so she was able to identify because i always go there and sit and see this beautiful pond and then the greenery and the trees in and around she was able to picture that and then beautifully uh, map that and show exactly where she was sitting so she said this is my place and all that that is surrounding that is that um, a small pond and a lake and those uh, big trees in and around and that garden they were all space she had nothing to do with them but they were beautiful they were part of that so she was very clear that uh, um, that place was the one where she could sit and do her assignments and all that so she could easily identify it so this is another um, example of how you should identify what a place is and what a space is Okay guys, I'll um, show you a few slides on uh, what uh, Tuan meant for place and what uh, Ralph, uh, according to his place and placelessness in his book, uh, had said about uh, the place and then we'll also see how uh, location and how the research of uh, the uh, term uh, location was uh, Mm, uh, taken up by uh, Durian's Massey and what Giddens has felt about uh, uh, the term uh, location. So place, space and locality, uh, we will go a uh, little more details and then try to understand the concepts much more clearly. The concept of space is about the significance of location and the spatial distribution, the way people organize and manage spaces that we live in and uh, the environmental and human characteristics of places are influences by the location and distance from other places on people are being reduced through unequally. So um, improvements uh, because of technologies uh, and all that, the distances between spaces and places is becoming less and the individual characteristics of places form spatial distributions and the analysis of these distributions contributes to geographical understanding. So um, spaces as I said earlier are abstract, they are perceived, they are structured, organized and managed by people and can be designed and redesigned to achieve the particular purpose. I gave you the example of going from home to office so there could be one way or one direction uh, of a uh, um, uh, route uh, to go, there could be also another route. So, um, through the Google Maps, the various technologies, a man can adapt himself and try to take a shorter route, or he may also choose a route which has less traffic, though it may be longer. So, the choices are now available because of the technologies. So as far as places are concerned, the way geography understands this concept uh, is in the following ways. Places are part of the earth's surface that are identified and given meaning by the people. They are perceived, experienced and understood and valued differently. So an office could be perceived as a place by one person, but it need not be perceived. He may just go there routinely and then just come back and do mechanical stuff and come back. He may not attach any meaning to his life. Then places are important to our security, identity and sense of belonging. They provide us with the services and facilities needed to support. An office is a place mostly. The environmental characteristics of a place are influenced by human actions and the actions of environmental process over short and it can also be a very long period. Then whereas the human characteristics of a place are influenced by its environmental characteristics and resources. Uh, their relative location, connections with other places and the culture of its population, the economy of the country and the decisions and actions of people and organizations over time. So now we will see how space and place uh, according to um, Yifu Tuan and uh, Ralph, uh, how these words developed and how it evolved. So these are the two important thinkers. Uh, Tuan searched for the meaning of place. For him, uh, uh, the difference between space and place can be described in the extent to which human beings have given meaning to the specific area. Meaning can be given or derived uh, from an area in two different ways, namely one in an indirect and intimate way, uh, so direct and intimate way, for example, through the senses such as vision, smell, sense and hearing, and in indirect and conceptual way meditated by symbols, arts, architecture, etc. Space can be described as a location which has no social connections for human beings. 
no value has been added to this place there could be, um, you could have uh, attended one uh, huge archaeological site or maybe a museum uh, it must have been very beautiful to you at that point of time but that is forgotten because you have not attached any meaning to it or is there any social connection attached to it so <clears throat> it does not involve uh, not invite or encourage people to fill the spaces by being creative so no meaning has been described to it it is more or less abstract so place in contrary is more than just a location and it can be described as a location created by human experience. You go to office every day, so there is an experience created, direct, indirect, a sense of belonging and in fact it turns out to be one of the most influential and impactful places in your life. So the size of this location does not matter and it could be unlimited, it can be a city, neighborhood, region, office, classroom, etc. In fact, place exists of space that is filled with meanings and objectives by human experiences and in that particular space. So you have space, a piece of that is a place. That is your office, also it could be your home. So according to Tuan, a uh, place does not exist of observable boundaries and is besides a visible expression of a specific time period. Examples also could be arts, it could be monuments, it could be um, architecture, a particular temple architecture which you may have liked and you got attached to it, seeing those various variants or whatever. And Tuan was convinced that people give or derive meaning from the world's geography and organize the world around themselves. This also explains that the meaning we give to space correlates with the distance from the human to this place. He says, space is freedom. You can go anywhere which way. Place is security. Your home, your family security, your office, your job security. Ralph uh, broadly has the same idea as Tuan, but uh, uh, Tuan left uh, his um, probe about place and space after the 70s. But um, Edward Ralph continued uh, during the 80s and in the 90s and he kept on working on it. He has his own website on place and placelessness. Uh, so in addition, um, Ralph uh, attributed, uh, he described the relationship between people and their places as detached and a distance, though through which people are able to reflect on this relationship. In his work, Ralph tries to maintain the relation between place and place and not present them as separated concepts. Because the quality of place is that it has the power to order and to focus human intentions, experiences and actions spatially. So he does not separate uh, space and uh, uh, place the way Tuan did. Because he said to reach to these two different places you have to pass through that space. So that space also has some connection, social connection with you. So according to Ralph, space and place are uh, dialectically structured in human environmental experience. Since our understanding of space is related to the places we inhabit, which in turn derive meaning from the spatial context. So this is the book, uh, Place and Placenessness. There is a website of uh, him called The Placenessness. You can read more about it. Very interesting uh, um, uh, derivations he has made through his lifetime experiences. So in his book, Place and Placenessness, uh, Ralph emphasizes his research methodology to be phenomenology of place. Phenomenology is interpreted study of human experience. It could be direct experience, it could be indirect experience as well. So according to him, sense of place has the potential to serve as a pragmatic foundation for addressing the profound local and global challenges such as climate change and economic disparity that are emerging in the present. So that is how his book, <laughs> the place and placenessness uh, assumes such an uh, have so much of importance because he uh, attached uh, the issues, the socio-economic issues which is being faced by the world to that word place by bringing in the climate change, by bringing the economic distress, by being the social disparities, etc. That's how even outside the geography, his book was very popular and it had a long, long impact even today. 
So location uh, is another important term in geography and is usually considered more precise than place. A locality could be human settlement, a city, town, village or even an archaeological site. So um, locations are absolute wherein you give uh, the exact coordinates of that, they are lat lav and long or it could be relative, say you can say 40 kilometers uh, from the Connaught place or just 10 kilometers from the airport, something like that. So location provides the starting point for many types of geographical study. Location also has a place. So place is equally important. So uh, this is the contribution of Doran uh, Massey. As I said, she played a major role in developing uh, the changing urban and regional system curse uh, which was set up in Britain because of various uh, um, debates being um, both uh, been happening uh, uh, in relation to place and location. This council was set up and she led that and she wrote a book Space, Place and Gender. So we will, our next topic is on uh, <clears throat> the um, gender in geography. That's another important topic. Uh, we will also be referring to her wherever it is required. So localities uh, provide the uh, uh, functional con context for life's activities, social, economic and political. Giddens, as I was telling you earlier, he developed the concept of structuration as a theoretical perspective to account for the ways in which people learn about and transform social structures. But it was uh, Doreen Massey who pioneered the locality study in geography in, uh, as we see it today uh, through her uh, Spatial Division of Labour book which contained a number of case studies on this theme. So based on these studies, locality was described as the space within which larger part of most citizens daily working and consuming lives is led, and within which their citizenship rights are contested and also defined. So the locality uh, research continued uh, under uh, the um, leadership of uh, Simon Duncan who pointed out that the main reason for the rise of interest in locality research lay in the current social science theory. The social science theory which depended on this uh, functionalism and uh, uh, did not understand uh, the behavioral aspect of geography was now being uh, questioned and the re-emergence of interest in the spatial dimension or the geographic dimension of uh, the locality came out because uh, the analysis of social behavior and structure uh, because of the growing distaste for a functionist explanation of uh, social behavior. In fact, for example, they viewed cities and towns as the site for consumption pro processes involved in the reproduction of labor power. So they took um, this labor power as part of a consumption process uh, in understanding uh, cities and towns which was uh, clearly not acceptable because there is no human element attached to it. They took labor as part of uh, a growing uh, industry and uh, not as uh, humans who contributed uh, so immensely uh, in developing the infrastructure and the other projects. So this is where uh, the locality research came into picture. They threw out this functionalistic aspect of uh, the social behavior and then they brought in the humanistic aspect. So that is all uh, guys, I really enjoyed uh, bringing in this uh, concept of uh, uh, space, place and uh, location to you. I hope you have enjoyed it as much. Uh, I hope there is no um, ambiguity as far as these terms are concerned. Just be very clear. Whatever I have said is enough because a lot of already research has happened in what I brought to you on these slides. Uh, if there is any uh, further doubts about this, examples, uh, you please let me know. Just ping me, just uh, WhatsApp me or uh, just email me and then we'll catch up. Uh, <clears throat> we just have another one or two more topics and then we are, we'll be done with the uh, <clears throat> perspectives in uh, human geography and then we'll move on to theories and so I'll catch up with you all on um, Sunday when I think you have your GS1 paper um, and we will discuss uh, the um, geography related questions and how you have done and uh, what should have been done. Okay then guys, bye. All the best.